Today we're doing a little bit of an un unboxing. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel Strickland and my full-time job is, I feel like, the coolest full-time job. I spend my days finding and uh, flipping. So I, I source low and sell high vintage and designer items. So my love of quality runs deep. That's why I sell mainly vintage and designer is because I feel like the quality is unmatched. I am what's known as an online reseller, so I buy vintage and designer items and flip them onto online marketplaces like eBay, whatnot, Mercari, Poshmark. There are so many options for where you can find a nice designer bag. Today I'm bringing you two of those. We're gonna compare a bag that I bought from whatnot to a bag that came straight from Gucci. Hang tight. All right. <laughs> If you clicked on this video, it's clear that you really like luxury products. I do not blame you. So I have to let you know about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. When this channel hits 20,000 subscribers, which we're well on our way to, I'm gonna give away a Louis Vuitton wallet. This is the most exciting giveaway I've ever done on this channel, but I'm so excited at the growth and the potential growth of this channel. And I want to start talking more about luxury and designer products in resale, in everyday life, how to get a really good deal on those products. So to begin incorporating that into the channel, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give one of you guys a Louis Vuitton wallet. It will be a pre-loved wallet in beautiful condition. All you have to do to be eligible is subscribe to the channel. Watch out for a video as soon as the channel hits 20K, I will announce the lucky winner. Now let's get back to the video. I have a pretty extensive designer bag and accessory collection, but very few of those items have come directly from the source. In fact, I, I could count on one hand the number of items we've actually bought from the designer. Most of my bags I source from thrift stores, believe it or not, estate sales, eBay, whatnot. But one thing that a lot of luxury bag investors and collectors will say is nothing beats the unboxing experience that you'll get direct from the designer. So today we're going to do just that. If you can't tell, this one wrapped up in USPS with a little dent and hole in the side here. This one came from Whatnot, and it is actually a Louis Vuitton Alma bag that I sourced, get this, for $74. $4. It is vintage and you know one thing with Louis Vuitton Alma vintage bags is that the corners really start to deteriorate but I think only one of the four was in really bad condition from what I saw. So we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna see the luxury bag unboxing experience on whatnot and then I can't even believe that I'm holding this. I have been waiting for this to come in. You guys I'm so excited about this bag. So I actually did not buy this bag um, but it's also not sponsored. This is direct from Gucci, courtesy of my friend Christopher, who is I Buy Chit. He is I Buy Chit on YouTube as well as Instagram. Christopher has an amazing eBay store where he also resells vintage and designer, and he has such an eye for design. He recently just sold some Tory Burch, some Coach, Kate Spade, Michael Kors, a Louis Vuitton wristlet. He always has really great designer items at a great price in his eBay, and it's going to be the first link in the description. So support my friend Christopher. The way he just supported me because guys he sent me this as a gift straight from Gucci. I'm floored. I can't even believe this. This is the mini Marmont bucket bag in black with antique gold hardware. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm so excited to unbox this today, but I didn't want to do it off camera because I've had this Alma for a couple of weeks. I really want to see if there's anything to what the collectors say. So many people will tell you when you buy a designer bag, you buy the experience, whether that's in the store, the experience of buying it, or the experience of unboxing it and all of the extra that comes with this. I can tell you these are going to be two vastly different experiences, but can you replicate it for a fraction of the price? Because guys, out the door, this bag is going to run you about $1,300. So let's get straight into it. Which one should I open first? I'm so excited about this one that I think we're going to set the whatnot bag up and give it really big shoes to fill and we're going to unbox this one first. Are you guys ready to see the Gucci Marmont mini bucket bag? One thing when you order Gucci or Louis Vuitton online, it's always going to be sealed and you are not supposed to sign for this bag if this seal is ever broken. That is really, really important if you buy designer from the designer. Designer. Oh my gosh, here goes. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, holy cow. Okay, guys, even the exterior box itself is branded in this gorgeous green brocade pattern um, all throughout. This is phenomenal. This is so beautiful. You don't even want to throw out a box like this. And look, 
This is a tote bag gift that comes with many of the Gucci bags right now. They cycle through different bags that are available, but this tote is so beautiful. It is the stars, which is so funny because um, I actually just gifted Christopher a star named after him and a star named after his mother. So the fact that we both have star gifts now, Christopher, this must have been meant to be, right? <laughs> many times when you buy secondhand luxury, it's not gonna come with the additional details that you originally got straight from Gucci. Reseller tip though, if you see a bag like this, many people might walk right by it and think this is nothing, someone just printed Gucci on a bag. If you see something like this at the thrift, pick it up because dust bags, tote bags, all the promotional materials down to the ribbons and bows have extreme resale value. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is the experience we're talking about when, you, when folks say you cannot replicate the experience that is buying luxury. First of all, this card, the brocade pattern is actually raised all over the stationery here. It is so beautiful. Even this envelope, guys, resale value. Don't worry, Christopher, I'm not reselling any of this. And inside here, thank you for shopping with us at Gucci. And then the actual order summary paperwork. So um, the fact that they put even that in a special little envelope is just so extra Gucci. Are we ready for this? This thing is gorgeous already. I'm already in love. Are we ready? Are, are we ready for this? What a gorgeous dust bag this comes with. Guys, this dust bag is unlike any Gucci dust bag I've seen, to be honest with you. This is a linen-like material with a very old-fashioned brocade-style stamping. This collection is just phenomenal, and I love everything they're doing with the branding. Oh my goodness, the quality of this leather, you guys. Okay, a few things that we'll note here is that there has not been a stitch of plastic wrapping anything thus far. That is really important even when you go to authenticate bags that you might buy from a source. You're buying them brand new, but you're buying them from a source other than the designer. Leather needs to breathe. That's a natural substance and it would never come to you wrapped in plastic. There is um, a bit of foam around the chain handle here just to keep that from damaging this bag in transit or scratching itself. So you'll see some um, plastic wrapping or foam wrapping, um, rather not plastic around some of the hardware at times, but you'll never see it around leather. Even the tissue paper, guys, is something that has carries resale value. So inside we have the care cards. This will tell you exactly how to take care of the Gucci products. And beyond that first piece of branded tissue paper, we have white tissue paper. Let's take an up close look at this bag. I have not unwrapped the chain yet. Inside is the most beautiful micro suede material. <sighs> I'm just daydreaming about this. There's no way I'm not carrying this bag today, um, which is super, super appropriate because look at this. The back of this bag features a quilted heart and today's Valentine's Day, so it's perfect. This antique gold hardware is absolutely timeless. The black being quilted, everything about this bag is just amazing. And inside it features this little detachable key ring and it's so cool the way that they made this detachable. Let me show you. So it has a ring inside the bag and it has this bar toggle that you just stick inside the ring and then attach this to your keys that way they aren't banging and clanking around inside the bag and they're always within reach so you can keep this part actually attached to your keys if you want to um, or just clip it on and off of your keys every time uh, that you put your keys inside your bag it's the perfect size bag for me because I love a crossbody and I also don't like too large of a bag I'm definitely not a never full um, tote wear or anything like that I don't ever prefer a tote bag the Alma is about as large a bag as I will carry um, so we'll be looking at that one again next but this is just the perfect size 
nice for me. One thing to note about this bucket bag is it is not designed in a way to fully close. Um, it is a true bucket bag. So dropping your essentials in there is a great idea because it only closes, I'll show you. It only closes partly and not fully, but it's designed to do that. But also with time, this is gonna soften and will enable you to close it more. Now I've seen some people even going so far as to putting their items in the dust bag and then setting that inside of there if you want that added security of having your items um, closed up. If I'm not carrying a purse, I am carrying my phone, my wallet, and my keys. That's pretty much all I require anywhere. Um, so the fact that I could just have them easily within reach, cross-bodied style, is perfect for me. I don't mind that this bag doesn't close. But if you're looking at this bag and that could be a deal breaker for you, it might not be the bag for you. The little tassels on the end are such a phenomenal little touch. All of the hardware is affixed with screws and just one here bears the Gucci name. Guys, the bag is just gorgeous. I have to get the foam off the strap here so we can truly appreciate her in all of her glory. It is, like I say, absolutely an experience when you buy one of these items. So the thing is, when you go to resell luxury purses, you have to play to that experience. If buying luxury is partly the experience, then reselling luxury, you have to keep that in mind. You need to invest in the little extra tissue papers, the little extra ribbons and bows and cards and make it an experience when your buyer opens that item. When they decide to buy pre-loved luxury in the future, you are their go-to source because they know they're not missing a thing they're getting the same type of experience. When you buy direct from Gucci, the tags are affixed with a hard plastic here um, so that if you cut this, obviously you're not gonna be able to return the bag. The inside of this bag, they truly thought out everything for the girl that just wants a bag small enough to free up her hands and carry a few necessary items because this is actually a card holder and it holds two cards. So your driver's license, your debit card are right here within reach. You don't even have to put a wallet in here if you don't want to, which is again, perfect for me because nine times out of 10, I have my debit card and my license like in my back pocket, my phone in the other pocket. This thing is gonna elevate my game. One way to authenticate Gucci, um, in most bags that have like a tag style clip, it says Gucci on one side, you flip it over and on the other side, there's a serial number, but you notice that tag is not present here. You'll see the card holder itself here has Gucci embossed at the bottom, which led me to believe maybe they placed the serial number in the same place they would in a Gucci wallet, which would be inside of one of these card slots. And there it is. You can see the number embossed. If you are looking at Gucci to authenticate it and you cannot find a serial number anywhere in the bag, run away. It's nine times out of 10 fake. But this man, Christopher, you are unbelievable that you would send me something like this in this full unboxing experience. Oh wow, I just noticed that the chain itself is attached in the same way. So it's totally possible for you to detach the chain and possibly switch that out with something else as long as you have this toggle closure, the same type of closure that is with the keychain. That's amazing. But I think the chain is absolute perfection. I'm gonna put the key ring back in here also. Now one of the best things about this bag versus the bag that we're about to take a look at is the bag that we're about to look at, I actually got during a project show. The seller I bought this from on Whatnot has um, a show called Project Mondays. And on Mondays, they sell items that need a little extra attention and love. They're not in perfect condition like this bag is. This thing is ready to wear today. Well, absolutely be worn by me today. And this other one, well, it's gonna need a little cleaning and most likely a project piece, it's gonna need a little bit of TLC. Next up is the bag that I got from Whatnot. And if you're unfamiliar with Whatnot, it's an online um, auction platform. So it's like live sale auctions. Um, they stream for 30 seconds at a time. So someone will put up an item, you have 30 seconds to bid on it. If someone bids in the last 10 seconds, as long as it's not sudden death, they add another 10 seconds the highest bidder at the end of that wins. If Whatnot is an app that you think you'd be interested in, I'm including a code down in the description. This video is not sponsored by Whatnot, but that code is my referral code. It will get you $15 for free to use on anything on the app. The bag that I'm getting ready to unbox was $74. If I had a $15 code, it would have only been $59. So if after you see this bag, you think that you want to use the Whatnot app to try to go find your own luxury goods, click Click on my link and get your $15 for free first. The thing about loving designer bags and loving multiple designers is it can be an expensive hobby or you could look at it as an investment because designer bags is 
a lot like Lego. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, but it's true. Lego pieces don't really decrease in value a whole lot. And if you buy the right designer pieces, then they're not decreasing in value either. It's insane to think, but some people are spending 30 to $100,000 on Hermes Birkin bags that are actually going to appreciate in value. There are a lot of people who would rather put their money in luxury designer products than the stock market. I know it seems insane, especially if you're not floating in that circle, but it's true. Now let's unbox the luxury from whatnot. First of all, I did not have to sign for this package. USPS did damage it a bit. That is definitely not the seller's fault, but uh, this is not a, a white glove delivery service when you are ordering a bag online. Opening it up, I definitely see lots of plastic. The experience is notably different, but what a great seller that they um, included some packaging to ensure that this bag didn't get, you know, damaged or dinged around too much. I do think that a 12 by 12 by 10 might have been a little small for this bag. It has been sitting in here for a few days, but you can see it doesn't really fit the Alma. It kind of had to be shoved into place a little bit. Now, these Louis Vuitton bags are made out of a coated canvas, so this isn't a leather that's going to struggle to get its shape back. Um, filling this with the air pockets actually that she provided is going to enable it to get its shape back fairly fairly quickly. Again I want to remind you before we finish unboxing this I paid $74 for this bag. If I were to buy this bag on eBay it would easily be over $200 especially in this condition. Let's check her out. I know that this would be a $200 bag because I search for Alma all the time on eBay. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's get into some details here. Now you'll note there were no bells and whistles, there were no special tissue papers, but again, this is part of her project collection. Had I bought a $1,000 bag from her, probably even a $500 bag, she might have included a few extra things. There is something inside here though, and it is um, some paperwork. So again, you will see here, I paid $74 for this bag, and to be honest with you, I forgot. I bought a wallet also for $54. We'll be able to check both of those out. The wallet is in here, and I forgot that I ordered it, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's check out this bag a little further. Now, the corners on the Louis Vuitton Alma, that is not the Abin, which is the, the Abin is a darker trim and it it's like this color or even a little darker and it's a treated leather. This leather is untreated, the Vincetta, and um, this is what happens to the corners. Now guys, I have been actively bidding on Louis Vuitton Almas with destroyed corners like this for a couple years. And um, to find one that only has one truly wrecked corner, because this one's not in great condition, but it's not wrecked. Um, this one, okay, so it has two out of four are kind of wrecked. This is closer to a $200 bag on eBay. I know looking at it, you might think, girl, that thing is rough. But for those of us who like the character, um, like the patina of the Vincetta, I don't think that this one is even going to be for sale. I'm probably just going to keep this bag. Quick step in the Louis Vuitton authentication process. This piece of leather that attaches the handle to the bag um, is stitched. And you should be able to always count five stitches going up the side here one two three four five if there are fewer or more than five stitches there you could have a problem i've never seen an authentic louis vuitton with more than five stitches that being said the fact that it has five stitches does not make it authentic some super fakes will have five stitches on them but that is one step in the authentication process we want to look at the hardware as well now again a notable difference here when i unboxed this gucci bag I didn't need to authenticate it. I am also paying for the peace of mind of knowing this is 100% authentic and a used bag like this, you do, even if you know your seller, mistakes can happen. You need to vet the bag and go through um, a process. Next thing I'll do is look at the buttons here. Believe it or not, I'm gonna be making sure that Louis Vuitton is spelled right because that is a telltale on many counterfeits. The buttons here don't even have Louis Vuitton spelled right. Often one of the two T's that is in Vuitton is actually an I and so it's misspelled. Okay, she passes that test with flying colors. Um, the leather, again, is damaged up here. You have a few options. If you like the patina, as I do, you could leave it as is. You could definitely paint this. This could be a project piece that you paint flowers all over or something. The bottom, I feel like, is in great condition. She had two more of these in her project show, and both of them went for over $100. So 
this was the middle of the three and I, I still am unsure because one girl bought the other two. I'm still unsure how I managed to get this one for $74. I was the only bidder and I think people might have fallen asleep. Here's the wallet that I got. Okay, we'll check out the wallet here in just a second. All right, inside looks to be pretty basic. One thing that we're looking for is the Louis Vuitton date code. That is what you look for in a Louis Vuitton bag. They're not gonna have a serial number. They're going to have a date code. So let's go ahead and unzip this all the way down and we're going to search a couple different places for that date code. One place you can look is inside for a tag. Search along every seam and then don't forget to look inside the pocket and hang on. Yeah, okay, I just found the date code. This date code is a multi-purpose tool. It does help you to authenticate the bag. You can reference the date code and from it you will learn when and where your Louis Vuitton bag was made. So this one absolutely checks out, you guys. To say that this was worth the $74 that I paid for it is a phenomenal understatement. She is in incredible condition. I cannot believe, I mean, I'll throw up some comps here for similar bags over on eBay. Some of you who do not collect Louis Vuitton or luxury bags, this may be an absolute deal breaker for you. It is not for me. I have a couple different um, ideas about what to do with this. And the fact that only two of the corners are wrecked <laughs> is so great. I don't know that this one's going to be for sale because this was for many, many years, the bag that I was searching for to buy. My husband did recently buy this in an even better print. He got the Damier, um, that is the Louis Vuitton checkered print, which I'm just in love with. Uh, but I think I might add this one to my collection as well. Drop a comment and tell me, should I keep this one in my collection? Okay. I thought the best way to actually show you guys the difference would be just to get my Alma bag that I got for Christmas. And you can can see this treated leather the corners do not do that this is the one that my husband got me for Christmas you guys and it is so fabulous so fantastic he knew I love this shape but I never looked at this design because these are a lot pricier um, this one is in incredible condition and would you believe that in as good a condition as this thing is in he found this one on eBay you can absolutely get some great luxury deals um, at a good great price secondhand Here's the wallet I forgot that I ordered. I got this for $54, you guys. Um, so inside are her auction numbers, um, auction codes. So she wants to make sure that, you know, the buyer got the right item that they bid on. But guys, again, 100% authentic and absolutely phenomenal. $54 for this, are you kidding me? I'm trying to remember why she put this one in the project show. It could be, yeah, it had a little bit of wear here. $54, <laughs> do you know how much a wallet, the Elise wallet on the Louis Vuitton website is? I'll insert that right here. So $54 versus, but again, we're not getting any of the bells and whistles. So is it worth it to buy secondhand luxury products like this if you know that the experience is not the same? At the end of the day, I guess it's all up to the end user and the buyer to determine how much is the luxury packaging experience worth, how much is the aftercare, the customer care that comes with a product like this. In the long run, how much is that worth to you? I will tell you having most of my designer collection come from secondhand sources like whatnot, um, eBay, thrift stores, yard sales. Buying secondhand luxury is definitely a more than legitimate option, but having the option to treat yourself or be treated by great friends, well, that's that's a pretty legitimate option as well. Should this be the wallet that I give away or will it be another one that I have sourced recently? I guess you'll have to subscribe to find out because as soon as we hit 20K, one of you guys is getting a Louis Vuitton wallet and that's gonna be epic. In an upcoming video, I will be rehabbing this Louis Vuitton bag so you can see exactly what I do to it. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see what I'm gonna do to make this $74 bag look like a million bucks. And this bag, can we all just get like massive heart eye emojis in the comments? section for this bag and again a huge epic forever thank you to Christopher for gifting me an item so beautiful and luxurious and you know what I think I'm gonna wear this um, we actually have my son's Valentine's Day party is today and why not wear this for Valentine's right I'm gonna be like bougie hanging out with a bunch of six-year-olds if you think that selling luxury goods on whatnot could be for you, well, I have a code for that too. On whatnot, you do have to apply to be a seller and not everybody is approved, but I can tell you one of the best ways to heighten your chances of being approved as a seller is with a seller referral link. I am an established seller on whatnot and I've included the code for that down in the description below. If you click on that link and apply through that link, it's gonna tell whatnot, hey, Rachel Strickland thinks that I'd be a great addition to the selling team over at whatnot. And it's 
just a really great way to get you approved faster than normal. All right, guys, I am headed out to live my best luxury life. Definitely carrying this thing today. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless and remember, treat your business like your business.